Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Here is the ghost of a summer that lived for us, ere is a promise of summer to be. Who but knows how it goes? Lives a last year's nightingale, loves a last year's rose. Life is a smoke that curls curls in a flickering skein, that winds and whisks and whirls, a figment thin and vain, into the vast inane, one end for hut and hall. There are two men in Tolstoy. He is a mystic and he is also a realist. He is addicted to the practice of opiatism that for all its sincerity is nothing if not vague and sentimental, and he is the most acute and dispassionate of observers, the most profound and earnest student of character and emotion. A late lark twitters from the quiet skies. Into the winter's gray delight, into the summer's golden dream, holy and high and impartial, death, the mother of life, mingles all men forever. And lo, the hospital, gray, quiet, old, where life and death like friendly chafferers meet. Behold me waiting a euro waiting for the knife. The thick, sweet mystery of chloroform, the drunken dark, the little death in life. F face to face with chance, I shrink a little, my hopes are strong, my will is something weak, I am ready but, gentlemen my porters, life is brittle. You carry Ka broken bar sar and his fortunes a euro steady. T hey stretch you on a table. Then they bid you close your eyelids, and they mask you with a napkin, and the Anna broken bar aesthetic reaches hot and subtle through your being. William Ernest Henley For it's home, dearie, home it's home I want to be. Our top sails are hoisted, and will away to sea. Oh, the oak and the ash and the bonny birken tree they're all growing green in the old country. Shakespeare and Rembrandt have in common the faculty of quickening speculation and compelling the minds of men to combat in discussion. This is the merit and distinction of art, to be more real than reality, to be not nature but nature's essence. Essayists, like poets, are born and not made and for one worth remembering, the world is confronted with a hundred not worth reading. Your true essayist is, in a literary sense, the friend of everybody. So many are the deaths we die before we can be dead indeed. The nightingale has a lyre of gold, the lark's is a clarion call, and the blackbird plays but a boxwood flute, but I love him best of all. For his song is all the joy of life. And we in the mad spring weather, we too have listened till he sang our hearts and lips together. It is the artist's function not to copy but to synthesize, to eliminate from that gross confusion of actuality which is his raw material whatever is accidental, idle, irrelevant, and select for perpetuation that only which is appropriate and immortal. Men there have been who have done the essayist's part so well as to have earned an immortality in the doing, but we have had not many of them, and they make but a poor figure on our shelves. It is a pity that things should be thus with us, for a good essayist is the pleasantest companion imaginable. The life of Dumas is not only a monument of endeavor and success, it is a sort of labyrinth as well. It abounds in pseudonyms and disguises in sudden and unexpected appearances and retreats as unexpected and sudden, in scandals and in rumors, in mysteries and traps and ambuscades of every kind. Now, to read poetry at all is to have an ideal anthology of one's own, and in that possession to be incapable of content with the anthologies of all the world besides. Shakespeare often writes so ill that you hesitate to believe he could ever write supremely well, or, if this way of putting it seem indecorous and abominable, he very often writes so well that you are loath to believe he could ever have written thus extremely ill.
night with her train of stars and her great gift of sleep. Were I so tall as to reach the pole or grasp the ocean at a span, I must be measured by my soul. The mind is the standard of the man. Oh, it's die we must, but it's live we can, and the marvel of earth and sun is all for the joy of woman and man and the longing that makes them one. Between the dusk of a summer night, 13 to 16. Open your heart and take us in, love love in me. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. Life is worth living through every grain of it, from the foundations to the last edge of the cornerstone, death. Life, life, let there be life. Life, life, let there be life. Better a thousand times the roaring hours when wave and wind, like the arch murderer in flight from the avenger at his heel, storm through the desolate fastnesses and wild waste places of the world. Life. Give me life until the end, that at the very top of being, the battle spirit shouting in my blood, out of the reddest hell of the fight I may be snatched and flung into the everlasting lull, the immortal, incommunicable dream. Life, life, life. Tis the sole great thing this side of death, heart on heart in the wonder of spring. Love, which is lust, is the lamp in the tomb. Love which is lust, is the call from the gloom. Love, which is lust, is the main of desire. Love, which is lust, is the centric fire. So man and woman will keep their trust, till the very springs of the sea run dust. Yea, each with the other will lose and win, till the very sides of the grave fall in. For the strife of love's the abysmal strife, and the word of love is the word of life. And they that go with the word unsaid, though they seem of the living are damned and dead. Out of the night that covers me, black is the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance my head is bloody, but unbound. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Madam life's a peace and bloom death goes dogging everywhere, she's the tenant of the room, he's the ruffian on the stair. 